In this video, I'm gonna teach you my techniques for starting a business from absolutely nothing. No ideal, no money, nothing but straight hustle, energy, and enthusiasm. So that's how I do it. And you can do it too. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment on this video. Be very helpful, appreciate it. All right, let's jump into it. You don't have any money. You don't have an ideal of what you want to do. Your brain is just full of this, I want to start a business. But I don't know. I don't know what I want to do, but I want to make some money. But I don't know how I want to make some money, but I want to do something. The first thing that you should do is sit down with yourself and get real. First of all, starting in business, any business, is a long, arduous ordeal process. So be clear, do you just merely want to hustle? Nothing wrong with hustling, hustling's cool. Hustling could get you some great part-time income. It can get you some great full-time income. But the thing is, the difference between hustling only and having a business is A business makes money 24-7. A hustle makes money only when you're working. Give you an example. Many service businesses are businesses, but they have a strong hustle component because once the owner starts working, the money stops coming in because most service business providers don't scale up. They'll get maybe one crew or something, but when you start seeing, you know, getting five trucks, six trucks, seven trucks, eight trucks, you know, the type of stuff that is hard to manage, most fall out the frame. But to be clear, if your business stops making money, when you stop making money, you have either created a job for yourself or you're just hustling. A business makes money where you, whether you're there or not. Now, we've got that out the way and you got real, the next thing for you to do is say, how much am I willing to give? What's the price? How bad do I want this? And if your energy and enthusiasm and your motivation level is kind of like weak, I suggest you keep a job. I suggest you hustle on the side because until you really want to get to that burning sensation of success, it's not a mere want. It's not situational based. It is something that's in your DNA. I have not had a job since 2000 for a reason. I, you know, there's this joke, right? An entrepreneur is a person that would rather work 80 hours for themselves than to work 40 hours for someone else. Guilty. So you, you gotta look at that. Now let's get into the state where you figure some stuff out. You know you wanna start a business. You got a clear path, you just don't have any money. Okay, if your ideal is good, and it's that's called an offer, it can get you money. Give an example, uh, 2012, 30 days to $2,500. I started that when I was just sitting there thinking, because I was listening to a psychology podcast. And see, this is something else. If you're gonna do business, start listening to what I call support education. Psychology, human behavior, that's gonna help you way more than you know the Hustle 99 sub stuff. And it was talking about when you introduce something to a person that they cannot mentally embrace saying, hey, you're going from making you know 2,500 bucks a month from your job to making 100 grand. For most people, that mental gap is just too big. It's just too big. And they're just like, ah, oh, that's some, eat this bullshit, right? But that person may have the capacity, the intellectual capacity, but they don't have the belief in self to execute on that capacity. So I, I saw that because what happened, uh, there's a few people who did six figures from 30 days to 2,500. But since I wanted a broader mar market, I couldn't call it 20, you know, 30 days to 100 Gs. That just, just has scamplet written all over it. But most people can mentally embrace, and that's part of the offer. You have to offer people some that they can accept. Even if you've got this course or service and it's amazing, right? 
if your audience cannot accept and embrace it, they're not gonna buy it. So you that's your offer is huge. So you gotta work on your offer. You gotta work on is this offer has, has enough appeal to get me the money I want. So I created 30 days to 2500 and I gave it away for free with one caveat. I will train you every day for 30 days. It actually took like two it, it it took what two months to fully do, but I got people coming on, they were listening to the webinars, and the the caveat was you come, you show up, it's free. If you want the recorded versions, you gotta pay. And I was doing it for about seven days before people started dropping money. Uh, people were coming, oh, their content's amazing. But see, two things were happening. One, I got momentum. And this is something else that kills so many people. You gotta have momentum. And momentum is things are moving and they're starting to move faster. Give you a great example. If you're an NBA fan, when Draymond Green was suspended for game five, I said this is gonna be a game seven. Uh, game seven, a seven game series because with him disrupted out of the out with him out of the outline with him out of the lineup that disrupted their momentum because I fully believe that he had played they would have won but their chemistry was fucked up so when you are running your business and you have momentum you're moving you're making sales you're putting stuff out there you got to keep that up because it is incredibly hard to restart momentum once you lose it so you gotta get momentum. So I was giving the course away for free to create momentum. People were coming, people were talking. I would do a follow-up video on YouTube after, you know, saying after the webinar saying, hey, this is what went down. Uh, So-and-so said this, uh, some really good stuff happened. So I created momentum and I stayed with it because I wasn't making any money. So if you're gonna start a business from nothing, you're gonna spend the most important resource you have, which is your time. That's it, you know, if you are broke, dick, Danny, penniless Priscilla, your time is the only thing you have. Now, that's one way to start a business, and you know, kind of parse it a little bit. I started it, I gained momentum, I kept momentum, and I validated, because around day seven or eight, when people started to pay me money, that was proof of concept. It is, I don't care how good your fucking ideal is. I don't care if, you you know, it's like, oh man, this is going to change the world. Until someone pays you some money, pulls out their credit card, or throws some dollar bills at you, it is bullshit. Straight up. You know, all of you ideal genies, like, I can't tell nobody because somebody's going to steal my ideal. Motherfucker, please. You're a scared little bitch. Put your shit out there, see if someone will pay you money. If they don't pay you money... It's no damn good, or you need to tweak it. You need to enhance it. You need to play around with the offer. That that That's what you got to do to start a business from absolutely nothing. No one's going to give you some keys to the castle, except I've done that before. I, mean, I guess some other people might, but once again, without that motivation, without people really buying in, they will not apply themselves. I'm going to give you a good example of this tactic. Let's say you piss someone off, right? And pissing someone off is a form of currency. So this person who really couldn't do too much when they were in the unpissed off state, right? The regular people, right? Then you piss them off and then they become Dragon Ball Z, super, super fucking Saiyan, right? Well, the pissing them off is the currency. They, you paid them. And when, when, well, they paid. Being pissed off, they paid something. That was a form of currency. A person who pays for something is way more motivated than someone who gets it for free. Another example, using the romantic rim, is the friends with benefit syndrome. You'll have someone, you're fucking, right? And someone catches feelings. But you've been fucking for months or a few years with no strings attached, right? Well, that person is not going to value the other person in a relationship because they've been getting that good good for the free for the free 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 not even for the free 99 but the free free so frequently you'll have someone who's pissed off because they want more and they can't get it people must pay in some shape fashion or form for your stuff 
or they're not going to utilize it and if they don't utilize it they're not going to give you referrals and testimonials because they ain't doing shit with it even though your stuff may be amazing so you got to get some money you got to get proof of concept and you cannot play around with that now starting a business with absolutely no money starting from scratch no idea you got to stay in a mindset that says i'm going to win there are no dollars coming in people are like you know sending you nasty grams on your webinar you have to i'm going to win motherfuckers i'm going to win you have to you have to get yourself in that space because this is the thing you get yourself in that space you stay in that space and you continue to execute you will win it's just you don't know when you're gonna win maybe a little longer than you thought like i said i gave it 30 days that i was gonna do 30 days to 2500 for 30 days come hell or high water and i started getting money around day seven so you got to give yourself long goals like if you figure you can do it in 30 days make it 60. if you figure you could do it in 60 make it 90. Get, you know this is what kills hustlers and entrepreneurs extremely compressed timelines that are not laced in reality it's always going to take not always usually it's going to take more money and usually it's going to take more time than you expect to get the results that you want and if you understand how that works then you're going to put yourself in the seat to win you will win all of the time because you understand how this thing works I frequently test concepts and you know sometimes they'll piss someone off because I'll put some out and one or two people will do proof of concept and pay for it and they'll want it but I realized that the money coming in and the effort going out are not congruent so I will I will euthanize a concept in a heartbeat and some people are like man you be killing ideas I wanted that I was like dude you wanted that course no one else did and I have to act upon the numbers or you know I will be eating under a bridge somewhere and that's something else too you may have an ideal that you're in love with and until you can prove a concept it it could it could it could take you under which brings up the next part starting a business with absolutely nothing when do you stop once again that's on you but I'm gonna give you some parallel uh, some uh, parameters to make your decisions how much is it costing you in time not money but time if you've got this thing that you can work on for an hour a day for a year and it's not going to take away from your enjoyment of life it's not going to take away from your family time you can put that time in there and it's not really going to hurt you but if you're working 80 hours a week and you're making no money and your credit cards are all maxed out i don't care what all the romantic stories say well you know we maxed out all the credit cards next month we made a million dollars nope typically is we maxed out all the credit cards and we went bankrupt so if you are burning a lot of cash and you're not making any money and you can't see yourself making any money in the future dial that puppy down to a part-time endeavor and reduce your space of risk cut you know it's just you're gonna have to let that puppy go you may have to like give up some of those puppies or euthanize the whole batch and start over I don't know I have started email list I will do it in the heartbeat if I got an email list that's not performing once I see it starting to get stale or act funny I will euthanize it get rid of it fire everybody and start over and a lot of people which kind of goes back to the relationship thing a lot of people will be with someone that's inappropriate for them but because of the journey of starting over is so unappealing that they'll stay there and suffer versus going out clean break starting over and making a, a go at it because I had a lunch last year and the lunch went off with a 500 person list and I will tell you I did six figures with a 500 person list the list was very engaged the list was very targeted and most of the people on the list bought something and that's what you want so starting a business from absolutely nothing is a Herculean effort and I'm just giving you this information to help you out but the reality is you need to start with something because the sooner that you hire people the sooner that you get to proof of concept the more likely that business will survive and make the money you want to make 
if it you know I've had people to call me up and talk to me and I'm full right now just get on the wait list go to the, the front channel and it's like work with Glendon get on that list when I have openings I'll send out an email but when I've talked to people I've had people who've had the business for a year and they haven't made that first dollar that is not a business and it was like I'm a business owner I was like no you're not you're a dreamer you got a bag full of wishes you don't own a business that is a that's just a that's a facade you tell yourself to make yourself sound better because unless it makes money it is not a business nor a hustle it's not you can fool yourself you can tell yourself if that helps you sleep better at night go for it but my friend my dudes and dudes heads that is bullshit <laughs> all day long it's not a business let it go and you you got to produce money for it to be a business or a hustle and you got I mean seriously and I think a lot of people well I don't think I know many people are afraid to ask for the money I'm gonna give you another parallel and this is some from my life that I'll share with you It's very personal I used to be quote the so-called nice guy right years and years and years ago before I went to the dark side and I realized something after my divorce I was pretty much not in the mood or even emotionally fit for a relationship so I was just going up to chicks like hey this is where I'm at I like you I think you're cool I am not trying to get a relationship I just want to fuck you I actually said that to a chick in the bar right just to get my courage, you know, because I thought she was going to say no, right? But I didn't care. I didn't care because it was like, you're going to have to go ahead and just be this blunt, right? So I say that to her, and she just looks at me and was okay. And I got home, and, I, and the whole time I was thinking, this shit's not going to work. She's going to change her mind. She spent the night. And then I did it again and again and again. And I'm telling you, the direct approach, whether it's with whatever you want, being like this is what I want and if they say no you've saved yourself a tremendous amount of time you're gonna have to ask for the money I know we live in the social media age where give 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 value give value give value right well I'm gonna give you some that you do every day or at least once a week and it has nothing to do with this social uh, media stuff when you go into the grocery store, are they liking your shit? Are they giving you all kind of testimonials? Are they giving you uh, value? No, you're like, I need some hamburger. You go back there to the hamburger situation, get the hamburger, come out. You need gas. You go to the service station. Habib, whoever backs there is like, hey, how you doing? Are they giving you value? Is, is he socializing? Is he liking your Facebook page? Is he putting on webinars? Fuck no. He has something that you want, and it's pretty much, if you want this, you gotta pay this or get the fuck out. Every day there are situations across the board where you go in and you've never been in this business, you've never met the business owner, you don't know shit about them, but it's like you need that gas, you need that food, you need that blanket, whatever, and you buy it and get the hell on. So, just my words to you, because I know a lot of people are like, oh, no, 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 give, 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 man, some of you are going to go bankrupt emotionally and financially giving, I'm just saying, so those are some of the tips, some tools to help you start a business from absolutely nothing, and realize that you're going to struggle, now, a better plan because you know, as a trusted advisor, my fiduciary duty is to give you the truth. A better plan is, if you want to start a business, find an industry, and I know you don't want to hear this, and get a job in that industry and learn why you're getting paid. That way, you don't have all this pressure to make the business successful, and once you get enough skills, go home, work on that business on the side don't quit your job until your job is costing you money from working in your business there is nowhere on this channel in none of the 1600 videos where I tell you to quit your job without a plan or to quit your job without a solid set situation because I know from experience how hard this shit is but it's worth it so that's going to be a better way for you to start a new business, a new career, whatever you want to do, is get a job, 
train, hustle on the side, scale it up on the side, and then quit. And then launch your business. That's gonna be much more workable, more viable for most people. Otherwise, it's gonna be tough swimming. So, if you're still here, got an offer for you. Under the video, there's a bunch of stuff, but I can help you shorten that time span with, I've got two things. It's hustlerskungfudojo.com. There's the self-paced courses, a lot of productivity stuff. It's $1.99, you get five courses, and you're one and done. The better option is $299 per month, and that's what I call the active subscription. You get to talk to me once a month, and there's group calls every week, and, 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 then there's a lot of training inside stuff and private group. Different kind of flow, but it's for people who really want to be successful because I'm gonna I'm just tell you something about consulting. I've been doing it for a few years. I can give you value in one phone call, but to really set this thing up, it often takes a few months because I gotta know who you are and I gotta find out where you're bullshitting and I have to find out what you, how you're lying to yourself and some of this other stuff that you may or may not be doing. But one of the things that comes out of this is you become out of this other side a better person and more confident because I got a few clients who went through some of the free stuff. You know, the YouTube videos and other stuff that I used to offer for free and you know one of them owns a seven figure business now started four years ago wasn't overnight has a very very good niche and he started this business that he didn't want to start because he was burned out on it and i said dude that's what you fucking know and you're going to scale up much faster operating from what you know than trying to learn and also scale up and he's like all right and then all of a sudden, you know, you start making that money. It's like, this ain't so bad. Success breeds passion. That's all I got to say on that. Success breeds passion. So go below the video if you want to be hooked up. Uh, since we have to onboard you, that means we have to sign you up. It happens in four hours to 24, you know, except for weekends. And what's going to happen is you'll be set up. You'll get your login credentials emailed to you. And then you'll get on a calendar for your phone call with me. So that's how we roll below the video. So with that, that's all I got.